Now for cutting the sheet metal with the Henrob 2000. Now it's a little odd looking compared to your regular torch. We use two tips. The top tip will be for heating. The bottom tip, which is the one that actually does the cutting, when you pull the trigger here, oxygen comes out the end of that. One note on the trigger. There's an arrow on that trigger. You want that arrow facing up. You can pull that knob out and turn it and the trigger will be locked in the off position. So you want the arrow facing up. Now when you're cutting, one of the key ingredients to cutting is keeping the oxygen tip, not the flame, very close to the metal. On the sheet metal, I actually drag the tip. I get my hand steady, I've got it propped here on the brick, and we actually touch that bottom tip to that sheet metal when we're cutting, and actually drag it right across there as you go. Now, we're going to cut that. Just like, now you don't need that much heat here on the sheet metal for cutting. A lot less than you think. We're going to just heat that metal red, pull the trigger, and go right across that piece of sheet metal. Now again, keeping that tip close is one of the biggest reasons that we have people calling us back with problems. So again, keeping the tip much closer than your regular torch. Now you can see how nice of a cut that we get here. The front side, the back side, you got very little slag, very little warpage or distortion, a cut as nice as a plasma cutter. Now, a plasma cutter is a nice piece of equipment, but we got a much less expensive piece of equipment. The tips will last much longer, and you can also weld the sheet metal with it. So versatility, again, is a key, and the portability is nice if you want to go to the junkyard and cut a quarter panel out or a floor pan out of an old car.